Welcome back. Thanks for staying uh, with us. Initiation season has already begun in multiple provinces around the country. The season has become synonymous with uh, initiate deaths in, in provinces like uh, the Eastern Cape. As part of uh, government's intervention to address some of the challenges faced by uh, provinces during this time, the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, alongside uh, the National Initiation Oversight Committee, launched the NIOC Customer Initiation Act Awareness uh, Campaign. The campaign is themed preserving lives and promoting customs. Uh, let's talk more on this then. We are now joined by COPTA Deputy Minister, Prince Zolile Benz in Lamashe. A very good evening to you, Deputy Minister. Uh, great to see you. Uh, good evening um, to you as well as the viewers of the SABC. All right, uh, Minister, let's talk about the the premise of uh, this uh, this act um, and, and how it's meant to address some of the challenges faced by uh, initiation schools uh, in in the country. Perhaps just some you know some clarity on on what is said in in this uh, in this act. Well, as you are aware, that um, we emerge from the history of the custom which uh, by its nature um, in terms of its originality is meant to bequeath life into uh, the young uh, men as they transcend through the rite of passage yeah. to manhood now that has been vulgarized <clears throat> and criminalized by rogue elements who have distorted the actual essence mm. and ethos that underline or underpin the importance of this uh, custom to a point where we experienced a number of fatalities and, casual and casualties. Now, while we have different uh, legislative instruments from various provinces, yeah. as the national government, we now have one piece of legislation which uh, set up norms and standards, inclusive of all the various and different institutions and organs of civil society, mm -hmm. including state organs, so as to make sure that uh, we work together to yeah. eliminate all these rogue elements and um, ill eventualities that arise out of uh, those who are intended to yeah. undermine not only the custom but also the authority of the state. Uh, Deputy Minister, um, in the statement today, um, you know, the, from your department, um, you're talking about a, com a campaign whose primary objective um, is to raise um, awareness, education, as well as compliance uh, to to the act. Uh, what informs the idea that you know? Uh, people who act in this illegal manner when it comes to initiation schools are not well versed um, on, on, on the act. Who's to say that it's, it's simply just an issue of um, ignoring non-compliance and, and, and flouting, you know, what is uh, already stipulated um, in, in, in the act? Surely it cannot just be ignorance what, what we're dealing with. Well, obviously, those uh, who have been um surviving uh, by commercializing this uh, important rite of passage there will be a pushback um trying all sorts of shenanigans um to continue with their uh, illegal practices but one thing for sure and uh, what we are certain about is that uh, we now have a legislation that has given impetus into the coherent and consolidated functionality of different state institutions, mm. especially the criminal um, in 
the institutional arrangements starting from the police uh, to the national prosecuting authority including courts yeah. we now have a legislation that has made very clear provisions in terms of the roles that we play as different institutions yeah. and we want to warn those who are hell-bent on undermining the authority of the state yeah especially those who harbor intentions to uh, abduct uh, children and illegally uh, form uh, these uh, illegal schools that uh, we will make sure that whoever does that we will deal with that person just like a bull dealing with <laughs> Uh, just like a bull dealing with a bull. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, you're talking uh, about this very harshly and, and you know, you, you, you give this uh, warning. But um, do you believe, though, that that enough has been done where, where people do act, um, you know, outside of what is uh, stipulated, uh, where they don't adhere to, to the law? Are there ad adequate uh, punitive uh, measures uh, in, in, in place? And perhaps that would play a role in, in, in stopping what we're seeing. Um, and I ask this because... Every single, every single year, Deputy Minister, we hear of, you know, botched surgeries. We hear even worse still of young men actually not returning because they've died. Um, I mean, surely this can't go on. And surely it points to the fact that perhaps there hasn't been punitive enough or, or stringent punitive measures uh, for those who don't adhere uh, to the regulations, the law, the, the, and as well as this, uh, this act. Well, as you are aware, as you are aware that um, this legislation has just been passed by Parliament, uh, President has ascended to it. It is now um, in its um, uh, process of being implemented uh, fully. Uh, hence. Um, Deputy Minister, I'm not. The, I'm not just talking time. about. I'm not just talking about this particular act. There are other laws uh, that have been broken. If young men are dying and not returning home, there are other laws that have been broken and not just those aligned to this uh, particular act, which is why I said we are talking about a lot of laws that, that, that have been broken, not necessarily this uh, uh, particular act. But I suppose you mean that this act will, will make things uh, worse for those who don't uh, behave accordingly. Yes, of course, because remember, we... We, we, we talk now of the legislation that is administered by our department. Yeah. We take full responsibility in terms of ensuring that uh, uh, this legislation is implemented. And of course, um, we can only succeed um, decisively when all those who are involved play their part, starting from the parents, including those in whose care uh, the young initiates have been placed, uh, including traditional leadership, uh, all forms of leadership, be they counselors uh, in urban uh, settlements, uh. Uh, all of us playing our part. And parents must be able to come out, especially in instances of abductions where yeah, yeah. there's evidence of illegal schools those must be reported yeah and we will deal with traitors yeah all right uh deputy minister talk to us then uh about uh this uh, campaign um that uh, your department uh, cocktail will be running um i mean what form will it take are you doing you know some sort of uh, workshops um are you doing you know i don't know road shows uh, what, what exactly is the plan as you know you seek um to um you know reach your objective of of promoting awareness as you say awareness education and compliance it will obviously take all forms that will ensure uh, adequate public participation working together with all other uh, role players primarily our provincial initiation coordinating committees mm. because as you would understand we are the national uh, initiation oversight yeah. uh, committee so we will be working very closely with the provincial structures including the local house of traditional leaders because we want to make sure that everybody is uh, involved uh, 
because we are determined to ensure that um, when our young initiates go to the initiation school yeah. uh, alive, they must come back being alive, healthy, um, with full appreciation of what they have been sent there uh, to learn and achieve. I have actually gone through that process mm. many years ago, mm. and um, here am I. Yeah. Uh, within my family, I've taken uh, three uh, young males yeah. into the initiation, uh, including our young king. When they went there, they were 37. They went there alive, came back alive. So I'm talking from experience. All right. Deputy Minister, uh, thanks very much for engaging uh, with us uh, this evening. We certainly do uh, appreciate your time, sir. Thank you very much. And wishing all South Africans uh, a very healthy initiation season. Yeah. And once again, we want to convey our condolences for the three initiates who, as a result of the fire that caught up with their initiation heart, they ended up losing their lives. We really feel very uh, bad yeah. for such an unfortunate event. All right. Minister, thank you so much. All right. That is uh, the Deputy Minister of uh, Cooperative uh, Governance and Traditional Affairs, Prince Olile Burns and Namashe.